Hello and welcome back to Investing for Generations, your channel for high quality stock research for long term value investor. And today I want to give you a short update on Intel, one of the biggest positions in my portfolio because there was big news yesterday because Intel is replacing CEO Bob Swan and investors are cheering at this move. And to go a little bit deeper in this topic, I want to go through with you um, an article here on MarketWatch. Intel has dismissed CEO Bob Swan, naming current VMware CEO Pat Gelsinger the one-time chief technology officer of Intel to take his place. The move is effective on February 15. And so yesterday Intel just gained 8.5% and also today another 5%. Swan had been CEO since January 2019 after serving in an interim capacity for 7 months. Intel has struggled over that time. Shares are up 17% over the last 2 years, trading the 46% gain for the S&P 500 and the 146% rise for the PHLX Semiconductor Index. In the last year, Intel has suffered competitive losses to rival advanced micro devices AMD, manufacturing issues with the new chips, and a public relations black eye when Apple decided to use its own ARM-based processor designs in its MacBook personal computer. Last month, activist hedge fund manager Dan Loeb acquired a reported 1 billion stake in Intel and urged the company's board to consider strategic alternatives. With today's CEO announcement, Intel also said that fourth quarter revenue and profit will exceed prior guidance and the company said it has made strong progress on its 7nm process technology. The company will report fourth quarter results on January 21. Gelsinger has been CEO of VMware since September 2012. Previously, he led EMC's information infrastructure product business. For Gelsinger, the Intel move is a homecoming. Gelsinger spent 30 years at the company, serving as an Intel chief technology officer and working on key technologies like Wi-Fi and USB. And so this change from Swan to Gelsinger is change to innovation in technology, innovation, and this was the lack of Intel lately. Uh, I mentioned this a few times in my videos uh, about Intel. Um, Intel is still a very high profitable company, but lack of innovation and therefore they losing market shares. Um, but still, they are the biggest player, especially in the CPU business. And as also mentioned in the article uh, last week, I made a video about Dan Loeb and his hedge fund which bought into Intel for $1 billion and uh, with that um, it was kind of likely that there will be a big change coming and here it is and now we will see how the new CEO uh, will start and if uh, Intel can cut the corner as I said especially in innovation. And with this change on the CEO position there came a lot of upgrades from the analysts and so Morgan Stanley upgraded the price target to $70. BMO Capital Markets also upgraded Intel stock to outperform with a target of $70 and Cohn and Co increased his price target to $75. Um, in average of the 38 analysts tracked by FactSet who cover Intel stock, 13 have buy ratings, 16 have hold ratings and 9 have sell ratings with an average price target of $57. So this is just the opinion of the analysts. But in reality I don't care about the analyst rating because the analyst ratings are short term normally for the next 12 months. The analyst just following the market uh, both ways and so this for me have not a lot of impact on my decisions. Um, of course, in the short term, uh, it can help the stock to rise and it just happened now. Um, 
But for me as a long-term value investor, it's not important at all. For me, it's important to calculate the intrinsic value of a company. And I did this in my last video about Intel. And there uh, I also explained um, how I come to these numbers. So feel free to check this out. Uh, you find the link to the video here up on the screen. And in this calculation, I came to an intrinsic value right now of $77. And this is a reason to buy into Intel. This was a reason and still is a reason to hold. So this is way more important than any analyst rating. And so I bought into Intel uh, on different at different times. And so I started to buy into Intel uh, after the big drop after the 7nm processor was delayed. And then over the last few weeks uh, and months, I just bought more and more of Intel to now 106 shares of Intel, average price of $49.30. And so now I'm up almost 21% on Intel. And as I said, my calculated intrinsic value is $77. So this is way to go from the currently $59. And so I will hold my position for the long term because sooner or later the stock will go back to the intrinsic value. And so I will just hold and wait for that. And of course, if we drop back to maybe $50 again, I will just add more and more. And by the way, if you are new to my channel, here you see an insight to my Real Money North American portfolio with all the stocks in this portfolio. And you find a deeper analysis of every of these stocks. Uh, where I go into the business model, the management, the financial numbers, then calculate the intrinsic value and then just tell you when and why I bought into these companies. So feel free to check this out. The link to the playlist of my portfolio you find here up on the screen. And with the rise of the last two days, Intel now become my biggest position in my portfolio. Uh, with 7.47% of the whole portfolio. And so this looks good. And of course, I'm happy when the stock's rising, but I would be even happier if it, if it would be still around $50 or even cheaper, uh, because this was a big, big chance to buy into Intel. And even now, it's still way under the intrinsic value. And so we will see what happens in the future and if this CEO change maybe is also the turnaround um, for Intel or at least for the stock of Intel because the business overall, as I said before, is and was still very, very profitable. They still have a very good market position. They are the market leader in the CPU sector by far. And so... Um, beside all the negativity around Intel in the last few months. It never was worse, it, it, looks li it looked like, and uh, maybe now also with the CEO change, there come a little bit of posi positivity uh, to the business and to the stock again. And then I think very soon we will be back around the intrinsic value. So that's it for today with a short update on Intel. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up to help my little channel and the YouTube algorithm. Um, subscribe to my channel and join me on my road to financial freedom. We are now already almost 700 people here in this community. And ring the notification bell to never miss another video. And then we will see the next time with another video of another stock. See you then. Take care. Bye bye.